check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up guys, welcome to King's RC and in my last video I finally stopped breaking gears on the X-Max and that was from installing a 1.5 mod gearing with a 1250kV uh, Spectrum motor so the reason why I put the 1250kV motor is that the pinion I use has got the 8mm uh, bore so the 1250kV Spectrum motor from, from an outcast has an 8mm shaft which is a lot a lot more stronger more rigid than the original motor which only has five mil so i had it running pretty good it did have some overheating issues which i thought was fixed but, but then i ran it on a bmx track and yeah it was just overheating again so i had a 22 uh, pinion and a 35 tooth spool gear and that was overheating it it was i think it was just a little bit too over geared for the 1250 kv motor so now I've got a 13 tooth in this one and we're gonna give that a go and see if it still overheats which I think it shouldn't because I did a quick calculation and it turns out it's probably equivalent to having a 20 tooth uh, mod 1 pinion with a 50 tooth um, mod 1 uh, gear um, that's what it, uh, the size I just looked at the size and yeah it seemed like it's going to equivalent to that and that's almost the same to the stock uh, setup so the stock is 18 tooth uh, mod 1 pinion and uh, uh, was it and a 54 so it is a, still a little bit bigger but when you put that in the stock, stock system it runs all right so hopefully the spectrum uh, 1250 kV um, should handle that better without overheating also, I did get one of these bad boys, a dynamite uh, speed meter, and yeah, can't wait to use it and see what kind of top speeds we're actually getting with this setup. But we're not going to take this one out uh, today, we're going to take out that one there. So basically, running gear is all the same. This, this truck here got this second hand, which was completely beat up and worn down. I basically rebuilt it all the way from the last screw. So it's almost basically near new. it's pretty much brand new now i've got heavy duty um arms here uh, at the bottom also all the also all the out drives here was bent so i've got the gpm uh thicker out drives and see how that goes hopefully these don't bend as easy and we've got these louise tires up heels so i've ran this once already guys but couldn't run it um, for too long because yeah it was overheating so yeah, both 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 my X Maxes run exactly the same gearing, exactly the same um, motor, Max Six ESCs. I've got them pretty much set up the same. So once I get one running, both will be running good. And basically, I got both of them, so my boy can run one, and I'll run one, and we go out uh, racing each other with X Maxes. So the up heels, guys. Yeah, these had no ballooning whatsoever. Just to show you, I've got. Plugs in the center diff, and with these wheels. No ballooning whatsoever, guys. Look at that, it's a lot bigger. A lot more uh, tread there. No, the lug's a little bit higher, so uh, definitely, uh, from five minutes of running it before they're both overheated, definitely felt a difference in grip. And yeah, the Proline bodies, really happy with them. Got uh, this one here was sent to me by Proline as a replacement because this, this original one that I got here, the screw there was a little bit like off center, like it was off by like five mils. So, so I sent them uh, photos of it and yeah, they were happy to replace it, which is pretty good. And they said I can still use this one. So um, thanks to Proline for the uh, um, after sales support. These little washers here, guys, I just 3D, 3D printed them. Got some stainless steel screws in there. A little bit long, but they should be all right. Really tough body, these Pro lines. 
So guys, this is the X-Max that you've seen in a lot of videos in my channel. This is my new one. This is my new, freshly built one. And yeah, we're gonna take this out, see how it goes. Um, actually, this one is running on 13 tooth uh, pinion mod 1.5 and this one's running on 14 tooth. Here's the 14 tooth pinion I got. This is a low C uh, 14 tooth pinion, not as wide as the one that I got um, machined up but yeah still good so this should be geared up pretty good now 22 uh, mod 1.5 was a little bit too um, over geared for the the spectrum motor also I got some big ass batteries so 9000 milliamp Z batteries uh, yeah these are huge little bit heavy but yeah it should be all right should get like good run time with these um probably not good with launching them so high i mean these are really heavy so when you land with these with this much weight it's gonna the truck's gonna feel it so probably just gonna take it easy so guys the z batteries fit perfect you just need the one foam to go in there and yeah it fits absolutely like it's made for it so no problems there at all put some lighter batteries in there if we're gonna go sky high launching them off ramps and that so yeah let's take this bad boy out suss out the tires the battery and also the my new dynamite GPS speed meter here see what top speeds we're getting compared to the stock setup Alright guys, so at the box guys, these are good for 50 miles, which is 80 kilometers. See if we can at least get to the stock speed. Probably head towards me so I don't hit anyone over there. Plenty of torque, not so much top speed, but yeah. 69 but it is long grass here guys so that's pretty good I reckon I'm not really after the top speed on this this is a basher but just curious to find out what it is since I got a new speed uh, since I got a new speed meter and a lot better to drive since I'm not pulling so many wheelies can actually go full throttle with the um, small pinion on here. Hasn't overheated yet, so it's pretty good. Let's see what we got. 70 kilometers per hour. It's pretty good. Like I said, it's not meant to be for top speed, this thing, but just out of curiosity. Oop. A lot of power coming out of these Z batteries too guys it's pretty chunky so 9,000 milliamps 100 C so I'm not quite used to driving with a stock uh, stock servo because my other one my main X max on my first X max I had the uh, upgraded servo the Traxxas one uh, 20 is it 2085 X or 2585 X or something and yeah the biggest difference I'd recommend to upgrade that servo to the high torque well, it is more expensive but I've used that for a few months now and still works good beat the hell out of it and yeah that thing's awesome this I'm like full lock can hardly turn Right, let's go take this thing around the track and see how the um, tires perform. Ooh. Tires definitely got grip.
no overheating everything's good i think i've got this dialed in how i want it guys So I definitely didn't have enough power to, to um, correct that one. Ooh. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the punch up to level 5. I've got this punch setting at level 3 at the moment. Alright guys, punch level 5 setting. Give it a bit more torque. Feel the difference straight away, look at that. Man, this steering is so bad. Oh, just missed the tree. Oh. <laughs> this thing will last all day doing this. Maybe with ramps I'll be able to do some backflips, but not on this mound. I'll give it a go. Nah. It's not enough torque. Right, you can either overpower the X-Max and have it fall to pieces, or just tune it up to get it running good and just have fun with it the way it is I've got my um, armor outcast 8s with a max 5 800 kV motor coming up guys so stay tuned to that that one's definitely overpowered all right guys time for me to end this video and just have fun with the X max thanks so much for watching hit that like and subscribe stay tuned Got plenty more videos coming up and see you guys in the next video.